Hello, today I'm doing the Mistletoe Pack DLC. Uh, this is narrated version, I've already got a, a version that doesn't talk, so I thought it'd be more interesting if I actually told you what the things were. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on to the outfits. The outfits are these little leather outfits. As you can see, there's one in cream with a little green and red trim. One in blue with uh, brown and cream trim, and one in brown with cream trim. Nice little outfits there. Uh, we also have face paints. Now the face paints come oops, wrong one. Face paints come in this little stripy one. It's on the eyes and the cheek, or that one. It looks a bit like adamant, and if you don't know who that is, that makes me feel very old. There we go. Next, uh, we have a backpack. The backpack is a shield, and that is the shield. I'll show you that. There's no colourway in that, it's just one shield. And that is the backpack. Um, it's the same outfit for the men. There's no, no change in that. So uh, we will go straight over to the farm and let's make sure we go to the right farm don't want to go to the wrong farm and uh, if you can hear my cat meowing i'm very sorry he's being a pain this morning and just wants lots and lots of cuddles right there we go now then we we'll run over here this is the mistletoe pack um i <laughs> Physically, there isn't a lot, but once you put it down, it looks like a lot, if that makes any sense. So, anyway, as I say, this is the mistletoe pack. We'll start off with uh, what you get. Now, there's no crop. There is a tree. This is the mistletoe tree. So, uh, I will look at it in here, and you can see it's a little bit better. The mistletoe tree is... 1050 um, coins to buy and the resource is flowers and you harvest it every spring so there you go and that is the mistletoe which is the name of the pack next we have this building now this is the meadery um, as you can see um, bottom left the, you collect uh, it stores honey and you sell the honey for the little medallions, the little pink ribbons, which obviously you need for certain upgrades. Okay, next we will go to the Viking column. I'm gonna zoom out for this because um, you might be able to see them a bit better. They're lit up. I think there's only one. Uh, let's go and have a quick look at this one. Yeah, they're both the same. They've got a little torch on the top, they're very nice. And let's have a look at the, oh, I forgot to tell you about the meadery. I will go back and do that in a minute. Um, the Viking column is 25 diamonds. There we go, that's the Viking column. Now it does show you in the description with the flame off, but you can't click it and turn the flame off. So I'm not sure why the flame's off in the description. As for the meadery, that is classed as a building and that will cost you, let me see, there it is. It will cost you 10 medallions. You sell the goods for medallions and it stores honey. So there we go, that's the meadery. Next we have, let's see, what should we go on for now? Let's go to the Viking longship. This is the Viking longship. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. That's the Viking longship and uh, you can actually sit on it. That's it. I don't think you can stand on it. Nope, just sit on it. Some of them you can, you've got two places you can go to, but no. Nope, you can't steer it. You can just be a passenger. There we go. That's the Viking longship. The Viking longship is a decoration and that is 150 diamonds. Costly but looks good. 
I, I think it looks good anyway. And next you have this. Now, I'm, I'm going to turn it around a minute, a minute actually, if I can, if it will let me. No, it's not going to let me. And I don't think I can stand on it and do it, can I? Can I? Will you let me? Oh, you will. Okay. I wanted to turn it so that the um, staircase was outwards. There. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. You know when you're <laughs> turning things around in this game, it, it's a bit of a pain. There we go. So this you stand on. Now, it's a wooden viewpoint. You can't really see much more on it but it looks good but what would be even better is if you could stand something on it sadly it oh excuse me sadly it just takes up space and uh you can't uh, let me try look you can't put anything down on it you can only put things on the ground so because something's already in that space you can't actually put anything down on it it's sad because I think that would look great with the meadery on top of it even though the meadery I think is oh no the meadery is smaller so I think that would, would look good on it anyway let's uh, show you the price of that one if we can find it and I've gone past it haven't I? of course I have there we go 120 diamonds a bit costly for what it is but as I say if you look at the whole effect it does go with it somewhat there we go now we're going to go on to the fence now the fence is um, Viking fence and it costs you 15 diamonds and there's also a Viking door which is 20 diamonds I don't think I have put the Viking door down let me have a quick look. I haven't. Okay, I'm going to be very nice and I'm going to get rid of that. If it'll let me. I can't stop. <laughs> stop messing about, do it. There we go. Uh, it's just one of those mornings this morning. Uh, Viking door, 30 diamonds. There we go. And that's what the Viking door looks like. Um, yeah, Viking door. So uh, that is that. And this is a Viking arch. Now the Viking arch is 25 diamonds. And I like this because it's just, let me zoom out, it's just very ornate. I really like this. It's uh, one of my favourites. I say that in nearly every video, but I must admit, I love the stuff of like this. But I do like that arch. It's really, really lovely. So, uh, yep, as I say, 25 diamonds, and I think that is a bargain. Now we'll go on to the house. Now, this is the Viking Longhouse. Viking Longhouse is classed as a building, obviously. Uh, let me find it. There it is Viking Longhouse. 50,000 coins to buy, four construction stages, 50,000 coins per stage, and each stage takes six hours. So it will take you a little while, not as long as some of them, but uh, well worth it. Now, let me zoom out so you can see it properly. And uh, it's, I like it. It's nice, it's unusual. I like the little torches on the front and we'll go inside now I keep forgetting to do the doors now this set just says entrance door that is actually a Viking door and if you go to the doors uh, it says Viking door because you've already got it there's no need to buy it but it is a hundred diamonds and ten tickets so if you ever accidentally replace it with something else I don't know um, the inner doors are also Viking doors, but um, that will just change to that door when you put it on. It, it will change to a normal door. But as I say, it, I suppose in some of the other houses, if you wanted to put these doors on your other houses, you could do. 
but there we go that was the viking door we've also got the viking windows and now the viking windows there we go uh, da, 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 da. there we go viking window is 35 diamonds and three tickets and i think that's nice it's better than the little orange blind windows but uh yeah then next we have the horn torch the horn torch is a wall torch and is 50 diamonds and three tickets i like that one i like that one a lot okie dokie and this is the hall next we'll go into this room now this there's um i think there's three rooms yes one two three yes i will go in those others in a minute i think there might be four rooms might be one off the other let's see okay let's start off with the carpets we've got a brown bear carpet and a white bear carpet and the brown bear carpet is 50 diamonds and three tickets and the white bear carpet is 60 diamonds and four tickets and we also if we step over here and just let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it a bit better that is the antler chandelier it's quite pretty there we go and that's the antler chandelier and that is 60 diamonds and four tickets that's the antler chandelier now let's go over here and we have a norse table nice little table there now norse table is there we go 50 diamonds and five tickets and also to go with it is the norse chair which is 35 diamonds and four tickets and this is the norse chair as with all the chairs you can sit on them next i go on to the back one oh, actually i think that's all the decorations i've just realized there's no more decorations chandelier yeah i've shown you all the decorations so this is the back room and there's another room off here so it can be your walk-in uh, little room i suppose but let's have a look let's um stop barking dog a minute let's do the tiles now in the tiles we have stone tiles now they're 40 diamonds to buy and three tickets so let's put those down there we go that is the stone tiles and as for the walls we've got uh nordic walls and there's three different color variations on that uh, that's the nordic wall we've got like a white one uh, sort of a bluey grey one and a red one. I'll put the white one down. That's the white one. I bet I've put white all over the place. There we go. That's the bluey grey one. And of course, you have already seen the red one in the main room. There you go. Anyway that's all we've got for this one at least i managed to show you the front door this time because i keep forgetting to do that if i've forgotten anything else i will put it in the description below but i think i've got everything this time anyway i'm going to say goodbye for now that dog needs a name and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching